This is Eugene Panrutkovich on the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Toshiba Satellite P855 laptop computer with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on a Toshiba Satellite P855 laptop computer. Before we do anything with this or any other laptop computer that has an external battery, we need to disconnect all sources of power, which means removing the battery. In order to do that, we flip the laptop over. On top of the battery, there's two levers. We slide the levers outward, holding the left one, and lift the battery up, and the battery's out. While we're on the bottom, I'll show you where to find the model number for this laptop. There's a label that says Toshiba P855, and this procedure will work with all versions of the Toshiba P855 laptop computer. So we flip the laptop over and we'll start. In order to get to the screen assembly, we need to remove the screen bezel. That's the plastic frame around the screen. And in order to remove the screen bezel, we have to remove two screws at the bottom that are hiding behind some plastic screw covers. Before we start on this part, I'll show you the tools that we're going to use. We have a PH1 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and one's the size. We also have a smaller PH00 electronic screwdriver for smaller screws. A two millimeter flathead screwdriver to uh, pry things open and to manipulate cables. A pair of sharp metal tweezers to remove any screws that may be stuck and also to manipulate cables. An X-Acto knife or a hobby knife and that's to remove the plastic screw covers and also adhesive tape. And so that's what we'll start with first. We need to remove the plastic screw covers off the bottom. We use our X-Acto knife to do that. We remove them and what I like to do is put them beside the screw opening so I don't lose them. One and two. And next we take our PH1 screwdriver and we have to go in slightly at an angle but we can reach it and remove the two screws on the bottom. There's one and two. And for each step, for each set of screws, I like to keep the screws in a separate pile and in the order in which I remove them. And that helps me keep track of which screws go where when we put the laptop back together again. Okay, next step is we're going to snap off the screen bezel. And this is probably the hardest part of the whole procedure, but it's not too bad. What I like to do is put my fingertips or fingernails on the screen side and gently lift up the bezel, lift up and out. And we go work our way around the screen like this. And if you get stuck at some point, leave that place alone and come back to it later when you remove other parts of the screen bezel. So we keep moving and do the same thing on the bottom. Like so, and work your way around the whole screen. And for the final step for the hinge covers, what we can do is Use the two millimeter flathead screwdriver to pry open the hinge covers. And this one's a little bit stubborn, but we can get it. And so the screen bezel is off, and we put that on the side. Okay, next for this type of screen, it's mounted to some metal mounting brackets on the sides of the screen with some screws. So we have to reach the screws on the side of the screen. And in order to do that, what we need to do is tilt the screen forward a little bit away from the screen assembly to reach the screws. So next, there's two screws that are holding the metal mounting brackets to the back of the screen assembly. We're going to remove those. There's one. And then once again, we start a separate pile for those two screws. 
so we know where they go when we're putting the laptop back together. And there's two. And once we do that, we can tilt the screen assembly forward a little bit from the, the screen forward a little bit from the screen assembly. Looks like it's not enough to get to the bottom screw. So we have another trick in this case. There's two screws that are holding the hinge assemblies to the back of the screen assembly. And what we do is we loosen each of those screws by maybe two turns. Not remove them, but loosen them. Just enough so we can tilt the screen assembly back from the screen. And we try again. Okay, this is barely enough space for us to get to the bottom screw. What I'm going to do is loosen the screw just a little bit more. Give us some more space to work with. And we take it out. Okay, and start a separate pile again and do the same thing now for the two other screws on each side. One and two. And also when you're doing this, make sure that the screen is tilted back a little bit so when you remove all the screws, the screen doesn't fall forward on you. Okay, and we'll see if we have enough space to get to the bottom screw on this side. Should be enough. So we take the bottom screw out again, and you can use the tweezers, metal tweezers, to help you remove the screw if you can't just get it with the screwdriver. And the other two screws are simple. So there's one, and two. Okay, next the screen is free with, from the back of the screen assembly and we see that there's a, a cable that goes to the webcam that's attached to the back of the screen. So while holding the cable, we gently tilt the screen forward and see if it's getting stuck of anything. It looks like this cable is getting stuck. So in this case, what I like to do is grab the cable by the bottom, like so, and pull it out of the webcam circuit board. And this way we can lay the screen down like this. For this type of screen, there is only one type of connect one connector connecting it to the laptop, and we have to remove this connector and the screen is free. So what I like to do is use the exacto knife or even the fingernails to lift up the adhesive tape that's attaching the video cable to the back of the screen. And also there's adhesive on the back of the video cable and it's attached to the screen. So we lift up the adhesive on the, in the tape also. And then we gently pull the connector out like that and you lift up the video cable and we're there. Okay, so that's how you disconnect the screen. That's how you disconnect the screen from the video cable. Okay, before we go any further, I'm going to show you when you're putting the screen back together how to reconnect the video cable. So what you do is use your fingertips or fingernails just to, or even metal tweezers to slide this connector back in to I'm making actually look harder than it should be there you just slide it back in like so let's get a close-up so this is what it should look like when it's connected okay we slide it back out again and we're going to do the same thing with the uh, video cable connection to the bottom. So when you slide it back in, you'll feel, but not here, two clicks. And that means that the video, the connection is properly engaged. So let's, 
get a close up, pause the video right here and make sure there's no gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. That's when you, re you reconnect the screen. Okay, so we're gonna take it out again and let's take a look at the screen. This is a 15.6 inch LED screen and as of mid-2013, it's the most common type of screen that goes into laptops. Okay, let's take a look at the part number. The part number that you're looking for is LP156WH4. LP156WH4. Now, when you get your new screen in, the part number probably will not be the same, but there's five or six different vendors that make the exactly the same compatible screen. Okay, you can order this screen from us, from Screen Surgeons, and what you get with us is we provide this exact same toolkit for free at no charge with every screen that we ship. We also have a two-year warranty on the screen, so if something goes wrong with the screen during the two-year period, we'll replace it with no charge. We have fast shipping. We have warehouses on the East Coast, on the West Coast that we ship from. And we have free email technical support. So if you have any problems installing the screen, send us email and we'll take care of it. And also, we ship to most countries around the world. So just follow the regular checkout procedure and then the shipping instructions will be included to your country. So to buy this screen from us, go to www.screensurgeons.com. On the front page, there will be a short form for you to fill out, which will guide you to buy the right screen online. And then you can buy and go through your checkout process. Okay, once you do get the screen in, reconnect this connector as I showed you. Then reconnect the webcam connector up here. That's when you tilt the screen forward. You might have to do that to reach the webcam connector. Mount the screen in the metal mounting brackets and put the screws in on top and on the bottom. After that, you can tighten the two screws on the bottom. Make sure you don't forget this step. It's very important so as not to damage the hinge. And then snap the screen bezel back on. Put the two screws in at the bottom and the screw covers and that should be it. And um, also, I'd, I think I forgot to mention, put these two screws in at the top, and then that should be it. Okay, uh, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.